Okay, we're back. Um, last video, I ended up adding these styles. You got uh, jump pads, which I'll show you where we're, we haven't added that. This is a div we're going to add. Give that height, uh, width, display flex, justify and align, center. Uh, same display flex for the class of jump pad. You know, just a simple border. You can give it any style you want, but I, you know, this is just what I did for base styles. It's very simple styles. And you know, margin right, height and width of 20. Um, I'll show you where we put in the drum pads. So around this uh, data, this map, I just wrapped the data in a drum pads and a div uh, with the idea of drum pads. And of course, we already had our class name drum pad up here. So what you get after that is you got a nice big div with the letter inside. Um, why don't we make that letter make that letter in H1? Ah, there we go. And so last time we have wired up the handle click and uh, put it on that div, so it should work. So we've already got the beatbox down. Uh, not too bad, 20 minutes. Not too many lines of code, 60 lines of code, but we still have to get the keyboard functioning. Um, and that's a little bit trickier um, to do. Um, so we want to get our keyboard functioning, and we got to get our display functioning. So we have to get this display um working so why don't we try getting the display working so we've got the structure up here and that means we can declare uh, this dot state i'll just call it display we'll start it off as an empty string and we'll have this div inside of it we'll just say this dot state dot display Okay, um, then we'll make a handle display function. It's actually going to take a display parameter. And it's going to call this that set safe. So if you haven't seen the arrow functions before, I'm sure you have. You Maybe not actually free code camp course, so you, you don't need parentheses if you have one argument. And you can keep it all in one line. Um, and object destructuring the set state. Just uh, ES6 JavaScript, basically, right here. So this is just taking a parameter of display into the handle display function and then setting this display property equal to what it takes in. And We'll pass this down. Uh, we'll pass this down to the drum pad. So that's going to be on the props. Um, so here we'll just say this that props that handle display. And passing in uh, passing in the description that we want this that props that ID so this that props that ID is this right here which doubles as the display name uh, let's see display right now is a div The idea of display. So let's see if that worked. That should be wiring it up. And you can see up here we've got the different things drum hit, snare, but it's way up in the corner. That's no good. So we want to display the, 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 the style this display div. So 
so we'll we shall do that. Um, make that twenty five v eight, so we have a full screen for the drum pads and the display. Make up the whole viewing window. Uh, we'll go display flex. We'll justify content center. My items center. We'll go font size. I don't know, seventy five. That should be better. about pixels there we go all right so that takes care of that next thing and the last thing we really have to do is wire up the keys so each key is going to have a key code uh, there's a cool website I found uh, JavaScript event key codes so you just press any key You get the key code. That's a pretty neat website, uh, keycode.info. And the other function is uh, I always use this MDN when I'm looking up these is care code at. So you put a string in and you get a care code at, you put an index in. If, there is one that defaults to zero, so if it's just one letter, it's going to default there. So this is a good way to get that code from the string in JavaScript. And so that's the basis of what we're going to use to um, to get that key code, because we got to put an event listener on. Every time a key is pressed, we have to listen for that code. And when the certain code that corresponds to the letter is pressed, we got to play the right sound. So it's a little bit of a tricky setup. And I want a full 10 minute video to do it. But we can get started right here. We're going to use lifecycle methods. And component did mount is going to be one of them. Component will unmount it's going to be another one of them and these these are going to be the two life cycle methods that we implement this in um, so I don't see the countdown too bad yet let's see oh we still have two minutes so we'll start so we're gonna need to find an event listener basically so we'll say document dot add event listener and we'll do key down and this is just vanilla JavaScript and the first argument is the event you can look up all the different events and the second argument is the function I think we'll write our function out separately just just because and we'll call it handle key down that's going to take an event. And then we'll put some logic in here. So we'll say event dot key code, which is an object that you can look up on the event object. If that equals this dot props dot letter dot paracode at this defaults to zero remember so this dot props dot letter for each one of these individual drum pads has its own letter so you gotta imagine that and then we're getting the care code at that which defaults to zero, which is a zero index of a single letter. We'll talk more in the next video.